All right, we are going to read Elmore by Holly Hobby. There was a cute little picture on this page, too. <laughs> Elmore. Elmore lived by himself in an ancient maple tree. He loved it there. Every few days, he would climb down the huge tree trunk as darkness fell to graze on his favorite leaves and twigs. Then back he would go to his snug hollow in the ancient tree. Elmore was solitary. He lived alone, and you would think he'd be used to that by now. But here's the thing. He often felt lonely. Solitude could be boring. What? Hmm? Solitude. Solitude is the act of being alone. He's alone. He's solitary. He'd always had trouble making friends. What was the problem? After all, the L in Elmore's name, his mother's, his mother once explained, stood for love. He put up a sign, friends wanted. He was discouraged by what he overheard. He's too prickly. It's hard to be around him. Elmore shook his back, and his quills rattled. It was true. If you got too close, you might ne get needled, nettled, prickled. Elmore didn't mean it. It just happened. He spent a rainy day holed up in the ancient tree, thinking about what to do. What could be done about his troublesome quills? They were there to protect him, like a coat of armor. But protect him from what? Elmore's life was peaceful. He was lucky. The next day, his old uncle happened to come shuffling along past Elmore's tree. Good morning, Elmore. A moment later, he said, You don't seem your usual cheerful self. Is something wrong? I wish I didn't have all these quills, Elmore explained. I'm too tired. Mm. I'm too hard to be around. I have no friends. I'm your friend, his uncle smiled. That's different, Elmore replied. But you are a porcupine, his uncle stated emphatically. You wouldn't be a porcupine without quills. I know, said Elmore. I've got hundreds and thousands of them. You're a handsome porcupine, his uncle said. Uncle added, your quills are beautiful. You should treasure them. His uncle's kind words made Elmore feel better. Then, as he looked at the many quills scattered about his cozy dwelling, he had an idea. Elmore tied up each small cluster of quills with a bit of string. He posted another sign. Elmore quill pens, 100% real porcupine quills, free. For two days, they went like hotcakes. Everyone could enjoy a quill pen, especially if it was made from 100% real porcupine quills and free, too. They could make ink from berries, Elmore suggested, which was extra fun. Everyone loves getting a note from a friend, he said as he handed out the bundles. By the time the last quill pens were gone, Elmore was tuckered out, but most of all, he was happy. In the days that followed, he received all kinds of notes. It was exciting. We love our quill pens. This is a picture of us. Let's be pen pals. One bright morning after the quill event, there was a big sign tacked to the trunk of Elmore's tree. You are a beautiful porcupine. Our woods are lucky to have you, your friends. The end.